flapping is common to all helicopter rotor systems and is normal and expected. The rotors of the UH-1 and AH-1 use a seesaw action about a hinge pin to accommodate flapping. To prevent the blades from contacting the tail boom or other structure during normal starts and stops, the interior of the hub is fitted with static stops. These are contoured to limit the amount of blade flap and sufficient clearance is provided between hub and static stops for all normal maneuvers. On the UH-1, the maximum flapping angle is just over 11 and a half degrees. On the AH-1, it's 12 and a half degrees. If flapping exceeds these values, the stops will bump the mast. It is the violent contact between the static stops and the mast during flight that causes mast separation. And this you must avoid at all costs. A turning rotor has a constant flapping pattern. Maximum flapping up will always be opposed by maximum flapping down, 180 degrees later. At normal operating speeds, the individual blades blur into a disc shape. When this rotor disc is not at a right angle to the mast, flapping is occurring. Now let's examine how flapping can occur as a result of pilot control inputs. The cyclic control stick transmits inputs through the swash plate, changing blade pitch. The rotor disc will flap in the direction the stick is moved. So, cyclic stick movement produces rotor flap. The pilot controls the position of the rotor disc. In flight, when the rotor disc tilts, the aircraft responds by moving in the same direction. In this way, the pilot controls the helicopter. Mast bumping is directly related to how much you as a pilot allow the blade system to flap.